Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to map state to props. The provider component allows you to provide state and dispatch to your React components, but you must specify exactly what state and actions you want. This way you make sure that each component only has access to the state it needs. You accomplish this by creating two functions, map state to props and map dispatch to props. In these functions, uh, you declare, oh, I guess we could just write those now, right? We know we have to create these, so we're going to go function, map state to props, and then we can just stub them in like this. And copy this one and do it again. But then say map uh, dispatch to props. Okay, so now we've got both of those functions in there. In these functions, you declare what pieces of state you want to have access to and which ac action creators you need to be able to dispatch. Once these functions are in place, you'll see how to use the React Redux Connect method to connect them to your components in another challenge. So behind the scenes, React Redux uses the store.subscribe method to implement map dispatch to props. So uh, we want to create a function map state to props. Uh, we've done that. The function should take state. Okay, so we're going to get the state as an argument. So in, we put our arguments within here, and this is the name of the function, and we're defining it. And then we return an object that, okay, we want to return an object, an object. We return an object which maps that state to a specific property name, to specific property names. These properties will become accessible to your component via props. Since this example keeps the entire state of the app in a single array, you can pass the entire state to your component. Okay. Uh, create a property messages in the object that's being returned and set it to state. Okay, so that maybe they mean like a value of messages. Let's see what happens if we run the test right now. Okay, we've got everything in here. Passing an array as state to MapStop should return this array assigned to a key of messages. Oh, okay. So a key of messages, and we're going to pass in state, which is the parameter that we passed in from up here. And run the tests. Cool. That looks like it passed. Um, we're not even doing anything with this. I don't know why we actually had to do anything there. They did say note. Behind the scenes, React uses store.subscribe method to implement map state to props. So maybe that's why we don't need to do that. Um, again, uh, most of the time when you're writing React and Redux, you're going to be doing it in ES6. This is old JavaScript. So if we were to refactor this into ES6, we could say let uh, map state to props and then um, equal, and then we pass in the arrow function to clean it up. When you have a single parameter, you don't even need the brackets. So that would be another way to do it. Uh, this, if, if, is this if effectively the exact same thing, but this is the more modern way, and this is the way that you're going to see it more often. Um, I honestly can't think of anything else that we could do to refactor this. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one, and we'll see you in the next lesson.